Hey guys, today is the four year vlogiversary. So I've been doing the vlogs for four years and we're now starting year five today. And normally I have a montage going up today, but I thought I would wait until after the wedding so I can include a little bit of wedding stuff. So you'll get that sometime within the next couple weeks, like two weeks at the latest, I feel like, because I don't know if I'll have any time to start editing that right after the wedding. So I'm probably just gonna wait a bit. <laughs> But, yeah, what have I done so far today? It's 11.30 right now. Uh, I had to drop off my car at 8 o'clock at the dealership for the recall stuff and for winter tires. It turns out there's another thing that was recalled on my car, so they're going to take a look at it and see if they'd have to replace it. But, yeah, and I actually just got the call that my car is ready to pick up. They thought it would be ready around 1 o'clock, but it's ready right now, so I'm like, oh. Although my mom and my stepdad are gone, so I don't have anyone to bring me there to pick up the car. So I'll just wait for them to get back. They just went to Costco. We also went to places like Walmart, dollar store, whatever, just to get a few things. Like I got some things for Brooklyn for her birthday and we picked up some photo booth stuff for the wedding. Cause we, we made stuff on sticks last night, but we just picked up stuff you could actually wear like hats and glasses instead of all of just cardboard cutouts. So that's what we've been doing. And then I edited the vlog and it's rendering right now and I'll have to get that up. I might also start editing my Friday art video because that needs to go up on Friday. <laughs> I would also like to straighten my hair. I just blow dried it. I didn't actually do anything else to it. So I might make it look a little bit prettier before this evening. We're going to Christian's parents' place for supper and we're gonna have steak. This continues to happen. It happened to another one just the other day, like a couple days ago. And then here we go. Why, why, why? The snow broke the tree. Rude. Okay. My mom's back, so she's gonna take me to the car dealership and get my car. And then I think she's going back to Walmart because Bruce wants to go there. And I'll probably just come straight back here and start editing. Okay, I got my car. They replaced my suction pump thingy and something to do with the frame of the sunroof. I don't know. And they gave me my winter tires. Oh, look at... Well, those aren't the winter ones. Those are the old ones. The thing is, I don't have room to take these back to Vancouver with me because with all the cats and all the other stuff we have and my dress, there's just no room for them. So Christian's parents said that they would bring them when they come to visit because they typically come visit in the spring. So hopefully they just visit on the early side so that when I need my all seasons back, I can have them because I can't take them back. They're gonna have to stay here in Medicine Hat. But also my car is so shiny and clean. I was gonna give my car a really good cleaning before coming here for the wedding, but I just didn't have time. And they cleaned it for free and it's just so shiny. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Especially this cup holder is full of disgusting crumbs. Like I was embarrassed going to the dealership with my car in that state. But yeah, they cleaned it for me. So yay, thank you. <laughs> and they put these down. Probably so they don't muck up the car cause it's all icky out. Ugh. Hello, hello. So, there's been a bit of a hiccup with the makeup artist for the wedding. I booked her back in February and uh, I was trying to get in touch with her closer to the wedding just to like make sure everything's good to go and she finally responded today and because I was like really getting worried. I was like, how come she's not responding to anything? <laughs> I don't know, it was getting really sketchy. So she finally responded and she's saying that she's changed the way she does things and she no longer goes to salons to do people's makeup because when you're doing makeup and hair for the bridal party it takes a while so typically the makeup artist will go to wherever you're getting your hair done like sometimes people get it all done in like a hotel room or whatever but the salon said they they need us to come to the salon and it's actually pretty common for makeup artists to go to the salon and whatever whatever <laughs> But this makeup artist is saying she's not going to come to the salon because she has the sensitivity to hairspray so she just recently stopped going to salons and so we'd have to go to her studio to get our makeup done. There would be four of us getting makeup done, five of us getting hair done, and 
it just doesn't work because we would have to individually go to her studio and it takes like an hour for each person so we would just be missing that person for a whole hour they'd be by themselves for that hour and then we would swap and so there would always be someone missing we wouldn't all be together and it also messes up photos because the photographer is coming to the salon to take pictures of us so I'm reaching out to someone else. I phoned her, but she wanted to call me back because she was driving and she had to check her schedule. And so she's gonna call me back because um, she thinks she already has something on Saturday, but like depending what time that wedding is at, she might be able to get everyone in or even just me because like worst case scenario, it would be just me getting my makeup done. So I'm like, why world? <laughs> Although of all things to go wrong, I feel like makeup is the least important. I mean, like, I want to look good, but I also wouldn't mind that much doing my own. I just feel like, you know, look nicer if a professional did it. So I prefer a professional did it, but it's not a deal breaker if we don't have anyone. We make good music. <laughs> so this one's hard to present story software. No. That's the bottom of the bag. <laughs> there's no card in there. <laughs> I, I got a gift. That's enough work. Disney He says it in front of me, and I was like, "There better not be a reused bag." I got really excited. You know, I didn't go picking. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Thank you. Cards. Thank you, cards. Oh, my goodness. There's a gift. Um, what's that? Gift receipt in there, too, if you need to. Instead of my <laughs> giant fluffy. Yeah. Oh, really good for the job. Yeah. I was actually thinking of that when I was here. When I got in the shower, I was like, oh, I don't have a robe. I can never pack it though. It's so big and fluffy. Yeah. Well, one like this is easy to pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's fancy. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Those big fluffy ones have their place too. I have a big fluffy one yeah. too. But I tell you what, it takes up too much room in the suitcase. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of birthday day, my mom else spending money for her. Mm -hmm. 
Not till January though. I mean more vacation time from work. Okay, so we had supper at the Brazos. I opened some birthday presents. And now we're back. I, as you can probably tell, I normally don't like filming when I'm not at home. Like when I'm at my mom's house, I count that as home. But like, I don't like, if we have guests over, I don't like vlogging in front of them. If I'm at someone else's place, I don't like vlogging much. Like it's just, I don't know. That's the one part about vlogging I don't like is like, I love it, but when I'm in private <laughs> or if I'm on a fun vacation or something. <laughs> but uh, my, I am having intense amounts of anxiety right now over my dress belt. So Jacob was gonna go over to my place and look for the belt for my dress tomorrow, but he went a day early and he was just at my place this evening. He gave me a call and I was thinking like, oh, maybe he's gonna tell me he found it, I don't know. But no, he couldn't find it and I had him look in some other places and honestly, I just don't think it's at the house to begin with because I don't remember ever taking off the hook because like I brought the dress in the house. I hung it upstairs in the upstairs closet and then I was like, oh, this closet's too low and there's just not enough room. So I brought it downstairs, I hung it up and I unzipped the bag and the clear bag that had the belt and some receipts in it was hanging from the top of the hangers at the bridal salon. I don't remember seeing that when I was home and I don't remember ever taking anything off because I just hung up the dress and left it hung up. I would have to take the hangers off to pull the bag off, right? And also just the belt never crossed my mind at all when I was home. Like I just forgot it existed, which is why I didn't notice. So I'm convinced it's at the bridal salon, but then I'm like, well, why wouldn't they have called me? Cause there are papers in there that I'm assuming would have my name on it. Like I have the official final receipt that they printed off. Like it's a big piece of paper folded into thirds. I have that, I put that in my purse, but there were smaller pieces of paper related to the alterations where they had written out like what they were gonna do for the alterations, the cost, whatever. And at the salon, the lady had to take that, like take the bag and take the receipts and like punch in their system all the stuff about the alteration so then they could print off that other receipt that I received. So I'm thinking that when they took that off, they didn't put it back on. And so I'm gonna call the bridal place tomorrow, right when they open. They open at 10 BC time, which is 11 here. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I just wanna fast forward to tomorrow and see. Like, I'm just nervous because I'm like, well, why wouldn't they have called me if I had left it behind? So now I'm stressing out about it. Like, is there even anything there? Am I gonna call and they're not gonna know what I'm talking about? It's just like, what? <laughs> this is a $150 belt we're talking about, okay? <laughs> so that's all I can think of. I'm like not gonna be able to sleep. Like ever since Jacob called me, I've just had this blech in my chest and like I'm, I can't sit still and just, I don't know. It's really stressing me out now. Oh, also, um, I think I explained the makeup situation to the vlog. This new makeup artist I called um, cannot do her makeup. Like I thought even if she could just do mine and not the rest of the girls, that'd be okay. But she, she wouldn't be able to, she's not gonna have the time. Like she would be able to do it at like 12.45 and that'd be way too late. Cause I need to pretty much be ready by one at the latest. And there's no way she's gonna do it in 15 minutes. It takes like 45 minutes to an hour, so. So, I'm probably just gonna be doing my own makeup, I guess. <laughs> she says, I missed my daddy. I missed my daddy. Oh, baby. We should actually move the food over a little bit. It's pretty close to their water. Babies don't like your food being by their water. Even just slide it. Like, put that put that between them, maybe. Yeah. There. It's just a cat thing. Oh, I don't think Kiki and Min are that picky about it, but... Might as well do it. <laughs> you had a toy? <laughs> Her eyes are closed. She's just looking up like, oh yes. This is nice. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Hey, there's a lay down here. <laughs> I think we got a lay from the dollar store. 
There's one hanging right there. Bum. Baby bum. Christian just said, what do you say when a white orb goes past you in the middle of the night? <laughs> Kiki, why are you here? <laughs> is you have a little white bum? <laughs> I am analyzing <laughs> my vlog to see if I can catch a glimpse of the bag either sticking out the top or oh hi or like hanging right here because here I unzipped it and then I was like oh there's not going to be room for it so I zipped it back up and took it downstairs I'm just analyzing like can I see the bag because it's looped around the, it was looped around originally around the top of the hanger so you'd think you'd see a bit of plastic sticking out up here but I don't see anything I could have put that hook anywhere but I forgot that hook was even in here but yeah they told me yeah then it's suddenly out of the bag oh. Where's the little plastic bag that hangs on the top? See, I didn't show the top of the dress in this vlog though. I only filmed the bottom because I didn't want to show all of it. I just wanted to check that in case it was visible that the plastic bag was there. I can't see it. There was a shot where I could see the hangers pretty much right to the base of the hook and it didn't look like there was any plastic around it. So I'm convinced it's at the, sh the store still. Anyway, I'm gonna wash up for bed and just stress about it all night. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's Bailey and Christian getting their marriage license. <laughs>